Bethany and I went to take a dance class. Tango. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite foreigner, Lucila. And tonight, I have a question for you. Miss, excuse me. <gasps> oh! Uh Hello! Hi, how are you? Uh, hey, I'm doing well. How are you? So I have a question for you. Okay. What is the best thing that was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina? Well, it's you. <laughs> of course. Well, besides me. Tango? Tango. So tonight we're gonna tango. We're gonna take a class. We're gonna go to Portland's best tango place and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Argentino was born in the booming city of Buenos Aires by the Rio de la Plata, the widest river in the whole world and the entrance of the backbone of South America. Having its roots in the African Argentinian neighborhoods, it developed into an art form with the choreography of the Creole Milonga, the rhythm of the Candombe, and the melodic, emotional, and sentimental line of the Habanera. These hip places of the famous La Boca neighborhood began to play this joyful, youthful and mischievous music based on a binary 2-4 beat and performed by self-taught musicians that would compose without even knowing anything about this course. Later on, the tango moved to the big city. The street organs would spread it across the neighborhoods where it was normal to see male couples dancing in the streets. It's a little bit like learning a language in that there is grammar, there's syntax, there's structure, but there's no basic sentence in tango any more than there's a basic sentence in English. We went to Corazón de Tango, a milonga in southeast Portland, and there we spoke to Megan Pingree. And I've been hosting it now for, oh, I don't know, maybe seven years at a couple of various locations. Now, this milonga, Corazón de Tango, mm -hmm. is only on the second, fourth, and fifth Fridays of the month, and it's here at El Berretín. We usually have an attendance of somewhere between 30 and 60. Average, I would say, is maybe around 40, 45, 50. The class before the milonga is really aimed at people who have had zero previous tango experience and it's to help them learn enough so that they could stay for the evening and know how to dance. The spirit of tango has been kept intact. People throughout the world attend to milongas to learn the 2x4 to keep the magic alive. I would totally make an ass out of myself at one of those tango classes. Yeah, most likely. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, is there anything that uh, you may have learned while you were there? Yes. I have to tell you guys, you have to wear really comfortable shoes because your feet are going to hurt, oh my god, terribly. Even though they're cute like I did and they match my dress, you should wear comfortable shoes. Classes are $7 for everybody, $5 if you're a student, so it's a great chance. Awesome.